Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome back to Fragmental. Thank you for joining me. We are nearly at the end of 2024 and it's been a great year for fragrances. There's been a few that haven't been so great, but we're not going to talk about those. These are the fragrances that I think are the best releases of 2024. The first fragrance was a little bit of a surprise for me. This resurrected one of my favourite discontinued fragrances. Armani decided to change up Armani Code, change the scent and the bottle and give us a new Armani Code EDP. Kind of confusingly, the EDP already existed, but they decided to change the bottle and change the smell. So the original Code EDP in this older and arguably better bottle style. I think I prefer this to this new style that they're going with, but hey, you know, it's only a bottle. So this took code and made it a little less fresh, dosed up the vanilla a bit more so it was a little more creamier smell, a little more modern. It's a really good fragrance, but oh no, they, they weren't happy with just creating a really good fragrance. They wanted to throw this away and create an entirely new fragrance. Well, I say entirely new because this isn't quite entirely new. This kind of smells like a mix of the original Code EDT and one of my favorite designer fragrances ever made, Armani Code Profumo. And with Profumo, you do get the, the powdery freshness that you get with the EDT, but it's a little fruitier and it's got some leather. It's a really interesting fragrance. It's got that added attitude because of the leather. This is a real good fun fragrance, which is why it's often talked about as, you know, one of the party scents or a clubbing fragrance or a fragrance to wear on a night out. It is absolutely ideal for that. And, uh, and this bottle is just stunning as well, isn't it? What they seem to have done is combined the EDT and Profumo into this but I think it leans more towards Profumo it's very close to Profumo in my opinion but with a little bit of that powdery freshness that you get with the EDT so it's essentially a re-released Profumo so it's great that we have code EDP now because we can get so close to that Profumo DNA that no one needs to go online and spend silly prices great release from Armani really pleasantly surprised with this still prefer the older bottle but it's great we've got the Profumo style DNA back if you had thought that Chanel didn't release fragrances anymore, which probably many people assumed that since they release new fragrances so rarely, well, this year we had a cheeky little a limited edition release, which is Allure Homme Sport Super Legera. So this takes the Allure Homme Sport DNA that you get in the original and that you get in the extreme, freshens it up a little bit. It's a bit fruitier and a little bit lighter. So a very versatile, easy to wear type of scent. Not necessarily a game changing type of smell, but Chanel create beautiful fragrances and Super Legera is another beautiful fragrance. I love Oh, extreme. This is maybe even more wearable than that. I really enjoyed wearing this through the summer. You can see I've, I've put a little bit of a dent in this bottle after not having had it for that long. The name confused me initially, but after posting my original video on this, people said, oh, Chanel had some watches that were called Super Legera. So I think it's a tie in with the watch, but Super Legera originally applied to cars, very light race cars. Anyway, in terms of Chanel, I think it's more tied into watches than it is cars and when a fragrance is called super light perhaps you worry that do you want a fragrance that is super light if it's too light are you gonna smell it is anyone gonna smell it well that's not the case it's not so light that you don't smell it it's lighter than the other allure on sports but not lighter necessarily in terms of performance lighter in terms of the scent profile so it's a little bit fresher really nice release you get the quality of chanel you get a very wearable versatile fragrance you can wear easily all year round i really enjoyed super Legera. going all the way to the other extreme with this this is a dark brooding edgy fragrance and we can always rely on tom ford especially in the private blend for something like that this one is black lacquer dark 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 we've got inky vinyl and incense vibes with lots of dark woods ebony woods in fact yes i know this isn't the actual bottle size this is just a sample i did get three or four samples of this very kindly from fenix department store so i do have a few mil to go through but i would like a bottle of this at some point you know 
I love my fragrances when they have some edge and attitude and Black Lacquer definitely has those things. If you like dark, moody fragrances that make a statement, Black Lacquer is going to do that. It is one of those fragrances that could wear you if you're not careful. I think this would be worn for specific occasions, maybe with a specific style. I think this would work best when you're dressed up, when you're looking pretty sharp. I think if you were to just wear this on the beach with your shorts and t-shirt, then it would be the wrong choice. So if you wear it for the right occasions with the right style, then you will wear this well. If you wear it at the wrong times, it will wear you and you don't want that. But I think it's a stunning release. Black Lacquer is a definite highlight for me of the private blend and one of the best of the year. Tom Ford, if you want to send me a bottle, I'm, I'm open to that. How about a spicy, boozy, indulgent, chocolatey scent? You might like Iris Cartagena, which is 502 from Bon Parfumeur. The brand did send me this bottle, and when I was deciding whether or not I wanted it, I went online, checked the notes, and it took me about five seconds to decide, yes, I wanted this fragrance. Right up my street, it's sweet, it's dark, it's rich, it's a little bit smoky, there's something like burnt sugar. What's that sugar that you cook with that smells really dark and sweet? Well, it's kind of got that type of smell to it. It didn't take me any time to warm to this fragrance. The love for this was instant. And it's been nice to see quite a few people online talking about it. I think it's got some very positive reviews generally. I know it's always difficult when a brand sends out a few bottles to people. I completely get that you would disengage from that if you think that the brand has just sent out fragrances and maybe people aren't being genuine, aren't being honest. If there's a fragrance that I don't vibe with that I don't like, I probably won't feature it on the channel. But the ones that I love, then I want to talk about because it's a recommendation. But because so many people have mentioned it in videos, maybe you've not considered this. But if you go onto Fragrantica and if you look at what people are talking about there, if you go into the Facebook groups, this is getting good positivity. And I'm really glad because I want it to break through to people because it's not that expensive for what it is. I think £160 for 100 mil, that's good value for a fragrance that smells as good as this. You can probably find it even cheaper if you look around. It's that dark that you probably want to wear it more in the autumn and the winter, but it works in the colder temperatures superbly. This is a really great release from Bon Parfumer. You know, I love me some Argos fragrances. In fact, I sell them on my website. We're the only UK retailer that sells Argos fragrances. And I only want to sell really good quality stuff on that site that I love myself, that I believe in myself. Their new release for this year, one of the new releases for this year was Triumph of Bacchus Extract. This has sweet, juicy, fruity notes of peach and apple drenched in rum. Throw in some tobacco and vanilla and you have an absolutely stunning scent. If you enjoyed the original Triumph of Bacchus, you will know how good that fragrance is. It was already a very strong fragrance. This extra is even stronger in its concentration. If you own the original, I'm going to be honest with you here, I'm not sure if this adds anything that's that different in terms of the smell, but if you don't own the original and you want something that is strong and concentrated, then maybe look at the extra. But it's very smooth. The quality is off the charts with this one. Excellent fragrance. I think that maybe Triumph of Bacchus is the most popular from the brand. It's the one that gets the most buzz. It's the one that gets talked about the most. It's certainly the one that I sell most of on the website. If you've never smelled Triumph of Bacchus, I can highly recommend getting your nose on it. The original was stunning. This one is equally as stunning, just a little bit, a little bit stronger. Good 2024 release. Talking about a Boss fragrance next, and Boss have been killing it with their last few releases. I have been really impressed. Boss, whoever's in control, whoever's calling the shots, making the decisions, give them a pay rise, give them a nice Christmas bonus because they've done great work for the last few releases, including this stunner, Boss Bottled Absolute. Again, this is a fruity one. We've got some mysterious incense and some assertive leather. Very wearable, as you'd expect from a designer, but definitely not run of the mill. When I say not run of the mill, I mean it's a designer fragrance that has taken enough risks to have its own distinctive character, to have a good quality, to be a great smell, but it's not generic. It's not just falling back on being a dumb reach or being too easy to wear. It actually smells like a lot of care and attention and thought has been put into this release. You get that beautiful Boss Bottle DNA. It's a bit sweeter, it's richer. I think it's a, a little more chocolatey. Maybe it's the patchouli. They seem to be um, really going in hard on the use of this chocolatey patchouli in some of the last few releases. But 
Hey ho, doesn't matter, it smells great. Boss Bottle, the absolute superb 2024 release. There is a brand in the UK called Check and Speak, and I didn't know anything about them. I'd never smelled any of their fragrances, but after smelling this one, I am definitely gonna check out more from this brand. I'd describe this as a spicy, ambery scent that smells very refined, very well put together, very sophisticated. I've gotta say, this smells fantastic quality. It's got some herbals in here which add some punchy character. There's ginger that really pops. I think ginger's at the heart of this fragrance. I feel like everything else is, is maybe built around the ginger, so you, you gotta like ginger to, to like this scent. But combine that with, with the spices and the amber, it's so rich, very classy. This reminds me of a guy who might be dressed up really nicely in London wearing a Savile Row suit, and I think he could also be wearing amber seven great smell great performance really glad i've got my hands on this and i was able to check it out lovely all right there you go some fantastic fragrances but that's not it i've decided to split this video into two parts this was part one there have been that many fragrances this year that have impressed me i've decided to make a part two so be sure to tune in for that one what have been your best fragrance releases of 2024 i would love to hear from you if you like the video if you found it useful you know what to do hit like subscribe if you haven't already so you get part two in your feed. If you do all that, you'll see me in the next one. Bye.